All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to save data using shared preferences. And this essentially means you can save strings, booleans, uh, integers, or any primitive data type, and uh, just load it again. It's very simple, but it's only for these data types. But let's get started immediately, where I created an XML file, and I changed it to a relative layout, just to keep things simple. Then I added an edit text, and uh, you can just copy what's on the screen here. This is just uh, for example purposes. It's easier if you create your own example but I put an edit text, I add a text view with a text ID, and then I added a button and a switch just to show all the features you can use to do this. And essentially the switch is gonna be saved and the edit text is gonna be saved. But after you're done copying the XML file, we're gonna go straight to the main activity and we're gonna create a function called load data. And then we're gonna put a set on click listener for our BT button, which is our regular button and we're gonna put a method inside that's called save data. Then we're actually gonna create the save data function. And here we're gonna write val inserted text, which is gonna grab the text from our edit text and gonna turn it to a string. And then we're gonna turn our TV or our regular text into that inserted text. Then we're gonna actually create the, the shared preferences, which is val shared preferences equals get shared preferences. Then you add your key, which can be any key. I just write shared preferences and keep it on context mode private. And then we need to add an editor, which is just shared preferences dot edit. And in this editor, we're gonna just write apply to keep things simple. Here we're gonna write put string. And inside here, we'll write a key, which is gonna be the string key. And of course, you're gonna write the inserted text and the switch you want to save. These are the parameters you want to save. And you're gonna write apply, that's really important or it won't save anything. Next, you're gonna make a toast just to show that your button click was successful and it saved the data. And we're gonna write show at the end of that. Then we have to go down and create another private function, which is gonna be the load data. So every time you start up your app, it's gonna load the preferences or get your shared preferences. And you can just copy the first line from uh, the save data. And we're gonna do val save string and we're gonna assign it to shared preferences dot get string. We're gonna put the key to the string that we saved and we're gonna put a default value of null in case there is no string saved. And we're gonna do the same thing for a Boolean. We're gonna write the Boolean key just copy and paste it. That's why I mentioned you can create a constant at the top to keep things simpler. And then we're gonna assign the values from this load data to the text views and the switches we had in our XML file. So then every time you load it, it will assign those values, it will grab those values, and it will make everything look as you last saved it. And that's essentially all there is to creating shared preferences. It's a very simple way to do things and it only works with primitive types as far as I know but uh, it's very useful. I mean, if you can do so much by saving one parameter and as you can see here, I'm just gonna write something random like uh, zab, 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 and then we're gonna click the switch to turn it on. We're gonna exit out the app and we're gonna open up the app again. And you'll see the exact same text and the exact same Boolean condition is still there. And uh, yeah, that's a crash uh, tutorial on shared preferences. I definitely recommend looking more into it with some online documentation, but uh, for simple purposes, that's all there is to it.